here I have my MacBook Pro and we are going to see if it fits inside of the return. Oh, okay. It fits perfectly fine. Um, so this is actually really cute and it's really adorable. It looks a lot smaller or maybe, maybe I'm just looking at it differently. Maybe I'm not looking at it right because I'm just so used to such big bags. But this like, this bag is pretty, you know, sloth, slothy, I guess you'd say. Not quite like sloppy, but kind of like very loose, not a very structured bag. But it does have its handles and it does tend to hold its structure, even though it's not a structured bag. Um, this is really cute and adorable and I'm really glad that I added it. And it fits like, it fits my MacBook Pro with a little bit of room at the top, but like it's not even having to be uh, like shimmied in there. It just fits in there perfectly fine. Like it was made for a MacBook Pro. Um, there's plenty of room. There's like three pockets on the inside. Uh, so that actually had me worried, but not worried anymore. So on the inside, you have two pockets um, that are really for the front. And then you have this one big pocket in the back. Uh, and the date code, if you happen to be shopping around and trying to find one, uh, it's supposed to be in here somewhere. It's gotta be on one of these. The date code is located somewhere in one of these pockets. I'm pretty positive. Or is it here? Where is the date code? Or does this one not have it? So something I will do is I will definitely um, clean this from the inside out. It does look like on the bottom there is quite a bit of like uh, dustiness and not necessarily like cleanliness inside of this. So I'll definitely go ahead and clean this out and I'll probably show this on another video. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this inside pocket inside out and try and find this date code because it should be here unless it got rubbed off, which for the like felt liners is very typical for the date code to get um, rubbed off. On my Australia, it's there, but it's like very, very faint. Um, but yeah, so we have these this is like a beautiful piece. This is a, an amazing piece that I'm really excited to add uh, into my collection. Uh, super stoked about it. Really upset that I can't find the day code. So I found, after I finished filming, I found the serial number. It is on the inside pocket. The If you look on the front, uh, so you have this front pocket, the pocket on the, uh, I guess you would say the right hand side. So uh, serial number is in here. I don't know if you can really see that. It is like an AR serial number, AR2133. So this was made in the 23rd week of 2013. So um, I love vintage bags. I love adding them to my collection. Um, I prefer those over some of the newer bags. However, I have been adding some of the newer bags to my collection. So this bag is nowhere near vintage, but I'm really excited to add this to my collection because it's something that I've wanted um, and it's definitely comparable to the Australia. I have to go back and look and see at the pictures. I do believe that the date code was not in the pictures um, just because of how old this bag is. Um, but if I do find it, I will definitely let you know. But this bag looks pretty good. I mean, like I said, this bag looks pretty amazing. It's definitely worn. It's like you can tell that somebody wore this and they loved it. Um, and the one thing I do like about this bag is that it has the feet on the bottom. So I do not sit my bags on the floor. I think that, that is like a, um, it is a luxury bag no-no and a, definitely a luxury bag faux pas. But I do like the fact that some of these bags, some of the older bags do have the feet on the bottom so that if you wanted to, you could sit on the ground. I'm not gonna do that, but if I wanted to, I could. Um, but yeah, so that is it for the unboxing, um, for the coffee cup. Like I said, I picked this up on a cruise that I did with my mother back in 2014 or 15. I want to say it was like summer 2015 when she finally came and visited me when I lived in Italy. Um, and so we did, um, like a five or a seven day night cruise through the Baltic. 
going to a bunch of beautiful places. I got to see the Vasa. I got to see like the town squares in Copenhagen. I got to the Louis Vuitton store twice, not once, but twice. I picked up there. I picked, think I picked up a key ball and I picked up my first male messenger bag. And I think I paid for that, for those two separate trips together, I paid less than about $2,000 or $2,200 for both those put together. Uh, so that's one of the reasons why I like shopping Louis Vuitton outside of the States because we get tax free y'all. I'm just saying tax free is like the way to go. But anyways, so yeah, so I'm going to start adding the um, Starbucks mugs to my videos just so I can have a chance to talk about them and discuss some of the things and some of the places I've seen. So I'm not going to do them in all my videos, but I will do them in some of them. So as always, thank you for joining me on my channel. Thank you for joining me with this video. If you like the video, please smash the like button. Let's go ahead and boost that YouTube algorithm. And if you would like to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button. Um, there's more videos to come. I have more things to unveil. I have more things to unbox. And as always, thank you and happy hunting.